Conductors are conductors because they contain free charges. This just means that the electron charges are able to move around in the material easily. Conductors take on a certain behavior when placed in a static electric field because of the ability of these electron charges to move freely. So when you add excess charges to a conductor and then place it into an electric field, the charges inside the conductor are going to move around until static equilibrium is reached. There are some properties of a conductor to consider when it is in static equilibrium. Inside the conductor, the electric field is zero. What this means then is that the excess charges are sitting on the outside edge of the conductor. Basically what is happening here is that the excess charges are repelling each other and since they are inside a conductor where the charges are free to move, they will move to the edges in order to get as far away from each other as they possibly can. So inside the conductor you have a balance of positive and negative charges and therefore a net charge of zero. The second property for a conductor in static equilibrium is that the electric field lines right next to the surface of the conductor will be perpendicular to the surface of the conductor. Now immediately outside of that surface the electric field can be changing, but at the surface the lines are perpendicular. These lines also either originate or terminate with the charges that are found on the surface of the conductor. Lastly, when we are dealing with a conductor that is not a uniform surface, such as a sphere, the charges tend to accumulate at pointed areas at the surface. What you might notice at the tip is that since the surface changes dramatically at the tip, so does the perpendicular. So as the charges accumulate at the tip, so does the electric field. This is actually the whole idea behind lightning rods. A pointed conductor can help prevent the buildup of excess charges on a building by allowing the excess charges to accumulate in the pointed tip. Should lightning strike at this point, and if you have some kind of conducting material traveling down into the ground, the earth will absorb the energy of the lightning strike instead of your building.